All right, North Georgia Hillbilly back again. Um, what I'm going to show today is just a little project I've been working on. Um, still in the test phase, but um, it's been it's turned out better better than I hoped it would. Even it's uh, I think it's going to turn some real good numbers. Hope hope to try it out on well later this week. You don't know when, but later this week. Um, basically, what I've got here is a spreader with a swivel up top. A swivel down low and a split ring there's two of these now I made both the arms on this pretty much equal um gonna mess around with making a shorter arm up here you know so they're staggered more so but uh basically you know it's it's a two-arm Alabama rig you know umbrella rig whatever you call it but I figure I call it a spreader arm because it makes more makes more sense that it's just two and there's no uh no head up top just you know enough to loop it up and tie onto um this one's made out of clothes hanger um next version probably will be two and i'll give it a try um won't hold up for long but you know as far as rust goes but it'll, it'll work for a try um just loop the bottoms and uh these split rings just because i figured why not um it's not really ready you'd be changing out a whole lot and uh you know you can see it's got some flex here but basically, when I've when I've tested it, when I put a, you know, and, and I've, I've talked about before why I use right of fall zeros, just like to fish them, like to mess around with them. But um, basically, when I've got on the bottom here, I've got a rate of fall zero that I've probably adjusted to be like a rate of fall like three, maybe. And up top, I've got what, about as close to neutral buoyancy as you can get. Um it'll it'll sink and then it'll slowly rise after about know, 10 15 seconds um as you can see real low profile with the with the tungsten nail inserts you can't even tell on either this one you kind of can but barely but either way um so with heavier on the bottom obviously it orients itself like uh like this one on the top one on the bottom um with them you're not going to be able to get them the exact same, you know, rate of fall. They all vary a little bit from what I've seen, but um, when they're about the same, it's going to run side by side and or slightly staggered up or down. You can mess around with that with the nail weights um, and just have those in temporarily just so, you know, you could have one go up a little bit and one down, but not vertically, just staggered. Or And what I'm looking for is to be able to do it like this. So I've got one riding a couple inches higher than the other one and um also farther in and uh I'm not a fan of using stinger hooks um uh, i've personally seen attributed what i believe is you know they just weren't biting when they could see a hook on the belly um don't like running one on the back they're gonna hit it in the head i believe but um either way this is just a little something i'm messing around with um like i say you can see real lightweight swivels on this one next one will have better ones but um, either way, this is an interesting thing I'm going to try out. I'll uh, hopefully have a report here pretty soon. Hopefully big old bass hanging off of it. Two, I don't know, God forbid, I don't know what I'd do with that. But um, either way, it's something worth messing around with and uh, something you can easily make up. Uh, I'm going to look into some kind of stainless steel wire. Here later, I'm thinking maybe a brazen wire or a brazen rod for uh, welding. Stainless steel brazing rod. But either way, this... Uh, it's worked in testing, like I said, it works really, really well. So we'll see how set and hook goes and uh, things of that nature when I come to that point. But uh, either way, there's just another idea you give a try and uh, hope it works out for you if you give it a try. And I'll let you know how it works out for me. Thanks.